Now let's move on to the single stage common emitter, its collector, emitter, amplifier. So the different circuit elements and their functions are you got a biasing circuit, the resistance R1, R2, and RE form the biasing and stabilizing circuit. Now we got the input capacitance C in. This is used to couple the signal to the base of the transistor. If this is not used, the signal source resistance will come across at R2 and thus change the bias. The capacitor C in allows the AC signal to flow. The emitter bypasses the capacitor CE. So this is connected in parallel with this RE. To provide a low reactance path to the amplified AC signal. If it is not used then amplified AC signal flowing through RE will cause a voltage drop across it. Thereby shifting the output voltage. So, we will talk about the coupling capacitor. This is used to couple the amplified signal to the output device. The capacitor C allows only the AC signal to flow. When a CB input AC signal is applied to the base of the transistor, your small base current flows. Due to transistor action, a much larger AC current flows through the circuit and collector load RC, it's RC, a large voltage appears across RC over here. So a weak signal applied to the base appear in amplified form in the collector circuit. So voltage gain AV. So voltage gain AV of the amplifier is the ratio of the amplified output voltage to the input voltage.